viewer comments. All right. So first comment on the list, we have elephant in the room, Sahib. And he's saying in reference to our Dr. Manhattan and his spec sheet about his Manhattan. If you haven't seen the video, click the link. His comment was reviewed by inspector D. Hmm. As in, and I didn't even think about this, but in that video, we talked a lot about D, didn't we? Yeah, we were going through the spec sheet in great details, but this completely went over my head when it says Inspector D as we're looking on, like, you know, what this thing is. And it just makes sense what the D stood for. And how we did not comment on that, I have no idea. But what's also funny is that earlier in the show, we were talking about pedigrees. And what was that pedigree about? <laughs> the letter D on the cover. Yeah, that's right. Inspected by... That D, a different D. <laughs> Thanks, Elephant in the Room. We do appreciate that comment. We also have a comment from Hood Rat Comics. His question is fantastic. He says, is HBO's Watchmen canon? Ooh, what do you think about that? I feel like we've had this question, and it's a great question because I don't think people truly know because not everyone's reading Watchmen. So they don't know if it's in canon. Should this, does this follow the, the pages of the comic, or is this just something straight for TV? I feel like after seeing the response from so many people in the community and seeing that not all of them are like 100% on board with how great of a show this is, I feel like people just don't know their Watchmen. I'm like, I've been saying for years, you got to know your Overstreet. And now I'm saying you got to know your Key Collector app, you know? Well, now I'm actually saying, where's okay, I got to get Watchmen here. You need to know your Watchmen comic fam because I think this is canon. I will associate this series as Watchmen canon for here on out. I do not know my Watchmen. So you telling me that this has got nothing to do with the comics, okay, is news to me. No, it does have everything to do with the comics. But it's not a comic book. It's it, not based on a comic book. But it is based on the comic book. No, this storyline is not based on any comic out there. That's true, but it's a and rendition and a continuation. So, But it is, though. I feel like it's, it's more, okay, how about this? It's more of canon than before Watchmen was. He's thinking. Wait, 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 wait. One Say, more where time. do you where do you put before Watchmen on this list? Before I, I don't know. I'm just that's a comic form that people don't consider canon. Okay, so the published I think if we can throw out Watchmen written by DC, DC as a like can if we throw that out as canon because it wasn't written by Alan Moore, I think that we can also associate something that isn't comic book as Watchmen canon. Okay. So if this is picked up in comics, let's say they continue from the show. Sure. Then you can consider this canon. This not being in a comic book and just straight to TV and this is their rendition, I don't consider this to be canon. Am I, are we making sense here, comic fam? I, I don't so. know. I, I, think, I think that I'm going to, when I think of Watchmen, I look at these characters and I think of them as part of the Watchmen universe more than the Watchmen movie by Zack Snyder. I mean, look, they... I, yeah. All right. Well, I get what you're saying from that. That's your opinion on that. I know. All right. But let the, us know in the comment but, section. No, no, no. Comic but the fan. Watchmen movie is based on the Watchmen comic. So but that it, is that is the their rendition from a comic. Yeah, but it's it, to me such a loose adaptation that this new show was more accurate on that that gives its credence and, and its validation that it is canon. And now I think on the massive scale, people are going to associate this show with more Watchmen canon than anything else that's come out. But there's nothing to reference this show from. This is them creating some new characters to tie in with some older characters. I love, I love how he just, he just doesn't understand it. He doesn't, you don't want to agree with me at all. I no, love it. Man, I'm going to just uh, agree to disagree on this one. I think because there's, a, there's at least 5% of the show that was straight renditions of the past. They picked up stuff from the Minuteman. Yeah, they they added some things, but there were renditions of the of canon of in comic book scenes and enough references to the comic book that they included in this that to me it counts. It's like, all right, they're showing you the giant squid. To me, that's all I needed. Giant squid's in there. The rest, for me in my head, it's all canon now. I need more. You need more. I want there to be more too. So you're saying if they make <laughs> I know, I, I, no, I did it. I did it. it. All right, all right. If, if it hit him before we started the show, it hit him in the face with the microphone. I just did it here because yeah. I talk, you talk about the giant squid, dude. It's awesome. That's my but karma right there. It is my karma. <laughs> but what I do think is that if they make one comic book, which they probably will, that it's going to be associated with this new series because that's what they were really hoping for is probably to start the franchise again. Are you then saying that this show is retroactively canon? This is TV canon. How about that? But what happens if they make a comic book? Is that the then it's full canon. But, but the, it's never, it's, it's the same thing. No, I think comic publishing, I think, look, 
t- they're trying to make a good show for TV. Okay. Okay. It's not published in comics. This and so hence it's not in canon. <laughs> it's a TV rendition of a of a comic. Okay, book. this is I got we got to know from the community. You got to help us here cuz cuz we're not going to agree here. We're going to have to agree to disagree. Like if they made a cartoon about any other superhero and they threw in some stuff just to throw it in, is that considered canon with the comic books? It depends. It just completely depends on the situation. This has never been done before. That's why the question is valid. But it is valid, Hood Rat. <laughs> it is. It's a good question. Um Sal Felix this is a, another really fun question. How about a Golden Age Guru exclusive art print in a future mail call? So first off, a lot of people may not know that the Guru is an artist, and you were actually trained in school for art, and you did some like cartooning. Yeah, I did. Uh, I went to school for commercial illustration, and um, then I went down to uh, the Hollywood area uh, around nineteen, around two thousand, two thousand one, and did a lot of storyboarding down there. Nothing really big. I didn't get in, didn't know anybody, so it was just me trying to work through it, but. Um, I definitely have a lot of experience uh, drawing, and I love drawing. And um, you know, this has kind of inspired me, man. I really appreciate it, Sal. So what I'll do is I'll put something together. Let's do something for the mail call. So we all know about Kevin Esslinger over at kevinesslinger.com. He is the very talented artist. And if you haven't seen the print that's going out in January to every single mystery mail call member, the link is in the description below. Reserve your copy of Donny Cates. In Kyuk Lee variant of Thor number one, the Comic Tom exclusive, by the way. Well, Kevin, he, I don't even know how he did this, man. This thing is amazing. Dude's constantly crushing it, man. I, I love his work, dude. He I does just, such a good job. Jaw dropping every time. He's sending out a null to every single member. And this thing is gorgeous. Well, we don't just feature his print in every single box. We also have a newsletter that, you know, you open the box. It's, it's our communication to you, some updates and tells you some instructions. There's a lot of new members. It welcomes the new members. But on the back, because it's blank, we try to feature an independent artist in the community. We do that every single month. And this month, we're going to feature Sketchbooks, who is an awesome artist right on Instagram. And he's pumping out some really cool covers. And he's hustling. And I like to you know, spread that love. We're going to include him on the back of the newsletter. And everyone's going to get this awesome Miles Morales print in addition to everything else in the box. But I like the idea of featuring you maybe in the next couple months. Gives me some time to figure out what I'm going to put out there for you guys. If you have any comments of what you want to see, which I feel is going to be kind of overwhelming now that I said that, go ahead and put it down. I want to see you draw Dr. Manhattan. (laughs) (laughs) No, but also, while we're on that same note, if you're an artist or if you want to, you know, send some love to maybe one of your favorite artists, hit up the comictom101.com in the contact us section there's an artist submission page and we take donations for the art we cover the cost to get them printed and we just include it in our mail call hoping that it brings you or a potential artist some new followers some comic book enthusiasts who potentially may like your art any way we can help the community we try to do it and then last comment that we have to discuss because this is freaking crazy man it's from opus garza i think he just came up with a really good idea yeah, I have uh, this odor of smoke in my car. Yeah, and, it, and it's layered with black ice, as we found out. <laughs> yeah, layered with the the tree, black ice tree that's hanging from my. I went my and got mirror. one in the meantime. I'm like, I gotta put that in my car now after <laughs> watching that playback. I was so proud of us. I'm like, yo, I mentioned black ice, and your reaction was so authentic. You're like, as if I snuck out there and knew somehow that they put black ice in your car after they stole your car. Yeah, and it's interesting. Jim Mint rolls with black ice, by the way. Too. Does he really? Yeah, he commented. What is going he wrote, on? He's like, dude. I got black ice because it mentions my black on black interior in my SUV. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> what a pimp, dude! I, I love know, that guy. Right? Steven, shout out. But what does Opus Garza suggest you to do to get rid of this cigarette smoke from the thieves who stole your car and then cleaned it and gave it back after smoking in it? I need to take a shoebox, apparently, of charcoal. Okay, like charcoal briquettes that you buy at a store. And leave it in my vehicle because apparently it's going to absorb the smell. And a few people made this comment. So I haven't done it yet, but I will go get some charcoal and I will absolutely try this because this smell is still there. And uh, I'll let you, I'll keep you updated. I'm also curious too because I've never tried this. If this works in your car, I bet it would work for comics. You know, you get like a Tupperware, put the comic that may have some smoke damage and put charcoal around it, seal it up. Maybe the charcoal will suck that out. If you've ever tried that comic fam, let us know in the comment section below. It could be a good idea. I've never looked into it. I've also haven't dealt with a whole lot of smoke before. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather my comic smell like mesquite barbecue than <laughs> smoke. <laughs> Sweet baby rays, man. 